And welcome back. We're here with Color 10 digital producer Tony Wynn. How are you the, uh, doing today? I'm great. How are you guys? Very good. Good to see you again. Thanks right. for having me again. Crime Traveler. We've got a new episode. Well, yeah, what's the latest? Well, uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, uh, Aaron Vanderhoof. So uh, maybe we could take a look before we uh, go into that. I think we have a little bit All of right. video here of what I was in the newsroom back when this happened. Uh, very, very terrifying and uh, horribly unfortunate incident. Fill us in on the Aaron Vanderhoof case. Well, uh, in this case, this was in uh, 1999, um, where uh, Aaron went with, uh, with a guy to go get some donuts and left her kids home with a couple of their friends. And their friends ended up strangling each of those kids that you're seeing on screen right now. Um, and then when, um, when Aaron came back, who, by the way, was also pregnant, uh, they, they also uh, strangled her. And this was all over, um, over $250 worth of meth. Not not a whole lot of uh, reason for it all. Just one of the most terrible murders that happened here in, in Springfield. Mm. Yeah. Terrifying case that was, I remember. And that that is going back a lot of years. You said 99? Yeah. Okay, so when you get into these stories on Crime Traveler, go way, way back into our news archives. Yeah. And not only do you do that, but you can look at all the old stories, all the old interviews, the old reports, and then you compile all of this for our viewers to yeah. go back, revisit. But every now and again, you talk to somebody a little bit newer who may have, can shed some light on what happened. Anything new that you found here? Uh, nothing just yet. Uh, we are um, going to be trying to reach out to the family and and from there we kind of go and kind of branch out who was involved, whether it be the police officers involved there, uh, maybe even uh, we as journalists that mm -hmm. go out there who, who might have handled it, or uh, you know, uh, close friends, um, anything like that. I mean, anyone that can give you a perspective of what, what really went on there and you know, things that uh, weren't covered or that, you know, or something new, you know? Yeah, I was, I was gonna ask, is there anything new that has been I don't know, dug up for want of a better phrase. Sure, sure, yeah. That's 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 the appeal of at least what we're doing differently from other true crime podcasts is that, you know, we, we're taking the time to take a journalistic approach and trying to get something a little bit new to it because it's, it's not just a, hey, remember this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, it, it's more so we're really diving into this and, and trying to get down to what really happened down there. I think what makes this interesting too is that so often when terrible crimes like this happen, it's shocking, you're trying to absorb what happened, and frankly, who done it? And at that point, everyone's trying to figure out who's behind this, how did it, but then years, years later, every now and again you find yourself saying, wait a minute, how did that end? You know, because yeah. it's just been a long period of time, and it's it's hard to remember all of these things. That sure, happened. yeah, in, th in this in particular case, um, the, the man who, who ended up driving Aaron away from the kids and kind of being the, the ringleader of all this, five counts of, of, of murder uh, in jail, while the, uh, the other two, and the, the friends, actually they both contracted AIDS. Um, I know one of them had, had passed away just before the trial as well. Um, I don't remember what happened to the to the second person. But, okay, so uh, where do you find yeah. all these episodes of Crime Traveler? Uh, well, so you can find them on ozarksfirst.com uh, slash crime traveler. Uh, find it on the homepage there, and you'll see all of our previous episodes as well. Uh, it's all there, and then, of course, the podcast that you can listen to uh, uh, if you want to hear. Uh, the interviews that we're doing, uh, we have extended the length of them and all, um, and so you know we get to really, really hear um, from the people who are actually involved, opposed to ourselves. All right, thanks for getting us up to speed, Tony. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. All right.